I'm going to talk uh, about uh, Artful Design and uh, specifically the Artful Design of Immersion. And really for me, Artful Design in this context is, is really about two things. It's about discovery of how, but it's also about the discovery of why. And what I do is that I build things. I, I, I design things. As an example, uh, actually one of the things I designed, uh, this is now some 11 years ago, is, uh, is Ocarina. And Ocarina is, a, uh, is an app for your, for your phone. And the way you play Ocarina is you, you blow into the phone. So, so I'm literally blowing into the microphone at the bottom of my iPhone here. Multi-touch controls pitch. And accelerometer controls uh, vibrato. So when it's flat, there's no vibrato, but when I tilt it down, you'll hear vibrato being added in its intensity. When you blow into the mic, you know, to the computer actually sounds, it, it sounds just like it sounds to us. It's like, and that's the signal with this particular signature that we can actually do some conditioning on and then do some signal processing and analysis on to get a sense of just, you know, roughly how hard someone is blowing into the microphone. And that's used to articulate the sound. Um, and the sound itself is synthesized in real time. So there's nothing recorded about this is actually all live. What you have here isn't an emulation of an ocarina on your iPhone. Your iPhone has uh, somehow become the ocarina. It's, it's a statement of, of being. This is a uh, review left 11 years ago on, for ocarina on the iTunes app store. This is my piece on earth. I'm currently deployed on a rock and hell on earth is an everyday occurrence. A few nights if I may have off, I'm deeply engaged in this app. The globe feature that lets you hear everybody else in the world playing is the most calming art I've ever been introduced to. It brings the entire world together without politics or war. It is the exact opposite of my life. Deployed U.S. soldier. Now, I can tell you that as a as a designer, this is you know this is not expected, right? This is a, but it's it's very humbling to to think that something we made could have you know, even just momentarily given someone else like a, just a moment of peace. What makes design artful? Well, the way I think about it is that good design enables us, but great design actually seeks to understand something about us, right? So it's, it's both useful and it affords a kind of understanding of who we are, of, of kind of human needs, of the human condition. Uh, and when you can kind of merge those two in as seamless way as possible, I, I think that's for me, I think that's what makes design artful. And in this sense, art, it's really trying to get at this definition of art in building tools that are practical, that are useful. Uh, and the art is, is this idea that, you know, what is great art? Well, I can't, I can't define that. Um, and, uh, but I can tell you the great art perhaps is not when you've understood how great the art is or how great the artist is. I think it's when you feel like the art has understood something about you. At the VR Lab of Karma, and consisting of a lot of great people, uh, we're exploring a number of questions. They include, what does it mean to design artfully in this medium? What are VR's artistic, philosophical, and humanistic implications when new musical interactions and instruments are possible? How might we play music together in a virtual space? And how to design novel tools for expressive VR? For example, Trinity is Chuck in the environment Unity that brings the tightly timed concurrent nature of Chuck to all the power and affordances that Unity gives you as something to build tools. How might we design immersive virtual environments that encourage play, stillness, and calm? So these are some of the questions that kind of are the starting point, right? And for example, here is Marina's uh, foot piano, inspired, of course, by Tom Hanks in the movie Big. She has sensors on her feet. And so I think, you know, what, what we're going for is actually, again, this idea of physicality, this idea of embodiment, that you feel like the thing you're working with is not a thing separate from you, from your body, but an extension of your body. Uh, and the other side is the playful nature. And I think these are two dimensions of design that we employ a lot in this, in this process of discovery. I think to wrap up, you know, design is all about choices. And I think really the question I think 
ethical design, uh, artful design is asking is actually an ethics question. You know, what does it mean to design ethically? This is both the how and the why. Uh, ethics of shaping technology, you could be like, well, just do, do stuff people need, but don't just make sure you don't harm people. That's one way to go about it. I think a different way is to say, let's practically try to do some good. Uh, another way to think about it, and these are not in conflict with one another, but another one may be like, how do we want to live with our technologies? And for us, I think we try to do a combination maybe of all three, right? Um, and, you know, this is where doing versus being comes into play, where embodiment and playfulness come into mind. 